to my channel. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, I am doing a what I got my stocking for you guys. Um, I also decided to throw in one extra fun little thing and do a what my dog got for Christmas part of this video, so I wanted to kind of combine those two for just a fun little extra Christmassy video for you. Um, I'm going to start with what I got in my stocking, but first, if you haven't seen my what I got for Christmas video, be sure to check that out. I will leave it linked up for you in the cards and also down below in the description box. I got a ton of amazing stuff this year. I was so, so lucky and blessed, so head on over to check that out. But without further ado, I'm going to share with you what I got in my stocking this year. So I've kind of crammed everything into this little Christmas bag for the purposes of this video, so I'll kind of just like, I don't know, pull things out one by one and show you what I got. Um, my family always does just kind of cute little fun tiny things in our stockings. We're not like, I don't know, that's what I love about stockings. It's just like fun little, you know, goofy gifts, some useful gifts like travel stuff, you know, like travel toothpaste, I mean, not like, you know, I don't know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, okay, enough rambling. I'm just going to show you guys what I got in my stocking. So, first thing I'm going to pull out is a cute little bookmark, which I'm excited about because I actually don't have a single bookmark in this house, and so this will be really helpful and useful. I also got a nice fuzzy pair of socks because I'm always wearing socks or slippers or something around the house, especially now that we have hardwood floors that are quite cold, especially in the winter. And so I'm really excited about these. These are nice and fuzzy and like they're tall, so they'll keep my feet super, super warm. And they're in this really adorable like pink and gray Christmassy pattern, but I think it can totally be worn all year round. The only thing super Christmassy about it is the Christmas trees, but those will be covered up by pants anyway. So um, these are from Gilligan and O'Malley, the uh, Target brand. If you guys are interested in picking up some socks for yourselves, they're super, super thick and warm and I like, I'm so excited to put them on. <laughs> The next thing I got was a candy cane full of sixlets because I have recently discovered sixlets and I like honestly had never heard of them before this year but I think they are so so good so Melissa made sure to go pick these up for my stocking and I'm really excited to eat them. A super fun thing that my mom put in Melissa in my stocking are these little tiny hatchable, hatchable things. So um, we've already popped, I think it came with one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've already hatched, I guess not pop, that's silly, uh, five of them, and it comes with these tiny little like funny animals in each of these eggs. So those are the little hatchimals that we have gotten so far, and this is the very last one. And basically you just have to put it in your hand and like warm it up, and eventually the like little shell softens or whatever and cracks open, and there's a little animal inside. So that was really fun to do on Christmas morning. Another fun little thing we got are these little keychains that, uh, I forget the brand they are, I don't know. Every year my mom does some sort of like those little um, like kind of rip open packs where it's like, you know, a surprise what is inside. Um, so we did actually, okay, so a good example. So she also did a little emoji keychain one. And so you ripped open your bag and you had one of, you know, a number of emojis. And so mine was the purple devil. Melissa got, I believe, the alien, uh, I think like, some other people in my family got the laughing emoji, so yeah, it's just you don't know which one you're going to get until you open up the pack. So another one that we got was like a little Japanese like egg type thing, I don't even know. Mine is like a half opened egg that has a little smiley face in it, it's just like a cute little fun thing. We also got these adorable little push pins. Melissa and I each got one. Mine's obviously like a deer with antlers. I think Melissa's was similar. It wasn't exactly the same, but it was like similar, I think. And yeah, it's really cute. So I have a uh, um, like cord cord up in my office that this will definitely be going on. I also got a nail file and a travel toothbrush, toothbrush which will be super useful. I got a thing of travel shampoo and conditioner, the organics, coconut milk, um, and ooh. Okay, so it is the argan oil actually shampoo, which I haven't tried before, so I'm super excited. I just realized that I thought this was shampoo and conditioner like both the same, but this is the shampoo, argan oil, conditioner, coconut milk. So I have tried this conditioner and I do really, really like it, but I haven't tried the argan oil shampoo, so I'm really excited to try that out and see what I think. I also got a thing of chess men, which are one of my favorite cookies. Whoops! I love shortbread, so I'm very excited to eat that. I got a cute little ice cream shaped eraser. This is another thing that is usually in our stocking, some sort of like, you know, fun, you know, food or something else shaped eraser. And so this year I got ice cream. I just think it's absolutely adorable. I have a whole little collection of stocking like erasers upstairs in my office that this will be added into. I think I have some sushi up there as well. And I, I don't even remember what else, but yeah, I like, love these erasers. They're so cute. And I got some really pretty looking uh, magnets that each have a different, you know, fun 
pattern on them. Again, they'll be put to good use in my office. I got some undies, which I'm not going to go into detail showing you guys, but they are just so, so super comfortable. They're by Gilligan and O'Malley from Target, and I am absolutely in love with them. I got the basic colors, black, white, and beige, because I'm old and boring, but they're super comfortable. <laughs> Next up, I got a travel thing of tissues and shout wipe and go little pack thing. Uh... I got a really pretty set of washi tape that I'm super excited about. I just love these colors and patterns, so I'm really excited about that. And just a fun little like heart paperweight type thing. I got two things of mini Nutella bottles. And I love Nutella and I love mini things, so these were right up my alley. I was so excited when I saw this. I've never seen these before. Like they're adorable and actually like glass. They're not plastic or anything, so yeah, adorable. I got a couple more um, sample things that Melissa said came in her order from Ulta. This is the Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Face Gomage, whatever the heck a gomage is. Uh, polishing Micro Exfoliating Truffle Face Gomage. So yeah, no idea what that is, but we'll see. Uh, and then the Strivectin TL Advanced Tightening Neck Cream. So again, I don't know if I'll use that, but there that is. I also got these two adorable things. I think they were selling them at Target, but both my mom and Melissa each got me one. Um, I got the champagne cocktail and gin and tonic of the Traveler's Cocktail Kits. And so they're super adorable little like kind of Altoid sized tins. And inside comes with, I think, yeah, so a little card telling you how to make your drink. A little thing of tonic for my gin and tonic one. A teeny tiny little spoon to mix your drink with. And then I think a little napkin to, you know, like a little kind of a, like a little napkin coaster type thing. Um, but yeah, so that's super cute. All you need to do is provide the um, alcohol. I think it's sized perfectly. So if you get one of those like little airplane bottles of alcohol, it'll work. And then again, the same thing came in my champagne cocktail kit, except it came with um, elderflower syrup. So yeah, that'll be super fun to try out. I just think they're absolutely adorable and such a fun little gift idea. All right, this actually wasn't from my stocking, but every year on Christmas Eve and Christmas, we do um, Christmas poppers, like the little like pull apart popper thing that comes with a little toy and like paper crown inside. And this year I got a set of nail clippers. It has a really nice, actually like silicone pink grip thing. So I will definitely be hanging on to these and using these. Sometimes the gifts are, you know, dumb. I think I also got a yo-yo like a little plastic dinky yo-yo in my other one, but this one's actually really nice, so I will definitely be keeping this. And finally, the last thing that came in my stocking this year was four little mini nail polishes, and they came in these colors. There's like a nice maroon and kind of a grayish white with a little bit of glitter, and then a nice glittery gold and a fun, not even sure what you would call that. It's kind of like a midnight purple. I would say, I guess, but yeah, so these are by, ooh, Essie, they're little mini Essies, I don't even, I didn't even know they made them this small, and they are in from right, my right to my left, so your left to your right, <laughs> they are in Frock and Roll, Getting Groovy, Thigh High, and Go With the Flowy, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, again, that's all that came in my stocking, but now let's move on to the second part of the video and I can share with you all the cute little things my dog got for Christmas. So if you already follow my blogging channel, you are very familiar with my dog Dakota. She is very much a part of our family. She is a little five pound black Pomeranian full of spunk and love and snuggles and craziness and yeah, she's our little baby. So of course we spoil her on Christmas. Um, we got her a couple different things this year and so I wanted to kind of walk you through and show you guys what Dakota got for Christmas. So the very first thing, her like, big exciting present I guess for, and it's, I, no I guess it's not her big present, but something we were very excited to give her was this new leash. So we already had this little like um, poop bag holder, we just put this on the new leash, but the leash was brand new because the old leash, it wasn't very, I don't know, we didn't really like it, we could tell she didn't like it because it had like um, a part of the leash that didn't retract, and so because of that it wasn't um, the best tension. And so it would kind of get loose and like fling around and smack her in the face sometimes. And it was also too big of a leash, so like it was for the weight class up from her. So I think it was just, I think it was just too big for her. And the final reason we didn't like it was it was one of those um, thin corded leashes that I feel like fray really easily and it always made me nervous that it was going to snap. So this new leash has a nice thick band as the leash, so I feel like it's much more secure. Um, it just feels a lot nicer, like expanding and contracting, it's nice to hold, um, the little lock thing is 
works very nicely. So yeah, we are all very happy with her new leash. I can tell Dakota likes it. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy we got this for her. The next thing we got her was her very own ugly Christmas sweater, and I think it's the cutest thing ever. We saw it at Home Goods and just could not leave without it. It's a little plaid Christmas tree with um, like gold bone ornaments, and yeah, every dog needs an ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> She also got a couple things in her stocking. So we got her these two, um, let's see if there's a brand. I think Good Love and Dog Chews, and it is a Hackberry Log Smoked Turkey Tendon. And she's had these before and really, really liked them. Some bones she likes, some she doesn't. Um, she definitely tends to like more of the ones where she can eat them rather than the bones that just require, like that you can just chew on, they don't really like. Eat. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> we got her these uh, chews and we really liked them because they are just one ingredient so we know there's not a whole bunch of unhealthy junk in the food we're giving her. So yeah, we got her three of these. Obviously she's already had one on Christmas morning so we still have two left to give her. And then she also got a couple of toys this year. So we got her this little monkey that squeaks and it also has like the crinkly paper in the body part and this nice little strap to kind of hold on to and tell you at. My parents got her this little floppy uh, fox because Dakota loves like shake things around and so the floppy toys always go over really, really well with her. So this has already been get getting lots of play time. And then the last guy is this little dragon and it's just, I don't know, it's just cute and it has obviously a squeaker but yeah, she's also been liking this guy. And then the last couple things, so what we like to do with Dakota is get her things that obviously she will enjoy and, um, you know, benefit from, like, you know, the leash and the toys and the treats and stuff. Oh, we also got her a couple of those little, um, like, you know, bakery treats that look like cookies. We got her a couple of snowflakes. Um, she's already eaten those. They're long gone. But anyways, um, so besides the things that she will personally enjoy and, like, we also like to get her a couple of useful gifts, you know, that are kind of, I mean, more for us when you think about it, but are kind of for her. So, um... I don't like we've gotten her a new water bowls and new like you know a mat for her food bowls and stuff before and just stuff that you know she needed but is more useful. Um, anyways, <laughs> so we got her a couple of those gifts this year. The first things that we got her were a new water and food bowl that these will actually be going in the basement. So we've been um, finding that sometimes when we go down to the basement to watch some TV in the evening, she's not quite done with her dinner or she you know will want water while we're down there and we don't feel like. Um, and so we have been basically bringing her, you know, everyday food bowls up and down with us. It's just kind of a pain. So we thought that we would just get a set that lived down there so we can kind of give her, you know, water every night while we're down there so she stays hydrated and, you know, bring her dinner down whenever it needs to be. And I just thought these were really cute. Again, these are from Home Goods and they're just in a little, you know, kind of gold foil pattern and I really, really like them. Okay, and her last gift is this adorable little food canister. And so the reason we got her this, she has had the same food canister since she was a puppy, um, but in this new house, the way it's kind of set up in our kitchen and where we've decided to put her food bowls, um, we've been keeping her jar of like, you know, that like storage container of her food on the counter. So it's, you know, right next to her food. It's just easy to, you know, access. And, but obviously it's not the most attractive thing. It's like, you know, a clear plastic thing that was probably like 10 bucks when, when, I, when I got it. But, so I decided to get just, a, you know, something to put her food in that's really cute that will look nice sitting on the counter. So I won't feel like we need to like, you know, move it or hide it or anything. So I got this and it does actually have a nice suction seal. So it will still keep her food nice and fresh and won't go stale. So yeah, that was something that obviously I really wanted to make sure of. I don't want her to suffer and have to eat, you know, stale food just so I can have it in a pretty thing. So yeah, I'm really happy with this and I'm excited to get her food all loaded up and put this on the kitchen counter. And that is all Dakota got for Christmas this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this nice little extra Christmas video, seeing what I got in my stocking, seeing what Dakota got. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know if you guys get your dog's Christmas presents or what you guys got in your stockings down in the comments below. I would love to hear it. And again, I'll leave the link for my What I Got for Christmas video up in the cards and down in the description box if that's something you're interested in seeing as well. I will also link the What I Got in My Stocking video from last year that I filmed in case you want to, you know, keep this stocking video thing going. Um, but I think that's it, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!